Do you know it's story time? Story time, story time. Do you know it's story time in our classroom today? And the title of this story is Ricky's Birdhouse by Monica Wellington. And in the story, we have two vocabulary words. Our first vocabulary word is mount. Can you say that word with me? Mount. A mount is something that supports an object, or in this case, a TV on a wall. Mount. And our second vocabulary word is migrate. Can you say that word with me? Migrate. Migrate is when a person moves to a different place, usually because of the weather. Or animals also move to a different place too because of the weather. So when it is cold, they would usually travel somewhere that is warm. Migrate. Let's begin our story. Ricky's Birdhouse by Monica Wellington. All year long, many different kinds of birds come to Ricky's yard. He loves to watch them and feed them and listen to them sing. The pair that flash their blue feathers are new to his yard. Ricky wants the beautiful blue birds to stay in his yard. He has an idea. Ricky draws up a plan for his project. He gets out his toolbox and gathers all the supplies he will need. Here it says September 29th. The blue bird carries the sky on his back. Henry David Thoreau. Ricky measures and saws the wood into six pieces. He makes a small round opening in one piece. Let's count the pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six. And his journal, it says October 4th. I checked the measurements carefully before I saw. He puts the parts together, carefully following his plan. He glues and hammers and sands. Here in his journal, it says October 7th. Ouch, I hit my thumb. You have to be careful when you're hammering a nail. He paints and adds the finishing touches. Ricky has built a beautiful birdhouse. Here in his journal says, October 10th, my cat always wants to go outside to hunt the birds, but I never let her. It was hard to choose colors. I love blue and, my, and red for my birdhouse. He picks a safe place to mount it in his yard. There's our vocabulary word, mount. So he's using this pole to help him mount his bird house onto it. It's going to help support holding it. He has made the house specially for the bluebirds. He is hoping they will settle into it and make it their home. Oh, here in his journal it says, I hope the bluebirds will stay here this winter. Winter comes. Some birds have flown south to warmer places. Many birds have stayed, but it is hard for them to find enough food. Seeds and berries are buried under the snow. Ricky prepares some special foods to put out for all the birds. Here in his journal, it says, December 21st, early snow this year, in time for Christmas, hooray! I'm making presents for the birds. <clears throat> Ricky loves to play in the snow in his yard. The birds play with him too. Here in his journal, it says December 27th. Reco record snowfall. I'm putting lots of food out for the birds. But when it is dark, Ricky is happy to be warm inside. 
He hopes the bluebirds are sleeping in the birdhouse, cozy and protected at night. Here in his journal says February 7. I'm getting ready for Valentine's Day. Lots to do. Bluebird Blue, I love you. In the spring, many birds migrate back from the south and return to Ricky's yard. There's our vocabulary word, migrate. When the birds travel to a different area for a warmer weather. They start to build their nests. Ricky helps them by putting out extra supplies such as scraps of fabric and yarn. He is excited to see the bluebirds going in and out of the birdhouse. They must be building a nest there. Here in his journal says April 20th. I'm learning to recognize more bird songs. Riki is busy working in his garden. It is time to plant sunflowers. The birds love them and he does too. He keeps a close eye on the birdhouse. He hopes the mother bluebird is sitting on her eggs now keeping them warm. There are going to be baby birds soon. Here in his journal says May 4th, bird day. Today, I'm going to count all the birds I see in my yard. Cheep, cheep, cheep. Ricky spots three baby blue birds in the birdhouse. The parents are very busy finding good food for them to eat. The little birds love worms and insects. Here in his journal, it says May 25. The early bird catches the worm. It rained last night. There are lots of worms today. In the summer, there are many beautiful birds in Riki's yard. The sunflowers are growing tall and there are lots of good things for the birds to eat. Best of all, the young bluebirds are leaving to fly and feed for themselves. Ricky loves to listen to them sing, and he sings with them too. Here in his journal, it says August 11. The second brood of baby birds is flying. Ricky harvests the sunflower seeds in the fall. Everyone is getting ready for winter. Soon it will be cold and Riki will start feeding the birds extra food again. He has projects on his mind. He wants to build more birdhouses for more birds in his yard. It's time to get out that toolbox again. Here in his journal it says September 15. A bird does not sing because it has an answer. It sings because it has a song. A Chinese proverb. The end. So friends, what were some tools that Riki used when building his birdhouse? If you have an idea, let me know. Hope you enjoyed our story, Riki's Birdhouse. Till next time, bye friends.